Now let's go for a walk. Hello guys, again it's James with Hobby King and I've been in the UK now for a week putting a lot, out a lot of the great videos you guys have already seen. Uh, the caravan challenge, the, the game hunting and also the festival of flight which was awesome. But I also had a lot of time to spend at the warehouse because we've been working out of here and getting to meet all the great people on the UK team. And uh, it's just been phenomenal. But what was really exciting to me is that I've never seen a warehouse. Stuart, I think, has. He's seen factories and stuff. But this is my first experience. Let's go take a nice tour of the UK warehouse. Check it out. Anybody need a LiPo battery? This is the place. Nice tank. I like tanks. That's cool. More short course trucks. I mean, they just stack so high too. I mean, they're filling this warehouse. Look at all these EFX racers. EFX racers. EFX racers. Again, EFX racers. So if you want one, they got plenty. Don't wait till they go on back order because these are going to fly off the shelves real fast. It might be worth explaining to, these, to, to your people out there that Hobby King have got between 30 and 40 containers on the wharf at any one time. Sorry, on the water at any one time. Somewhere in the world, there's 30 or 40 containers. It takes about three months from contacting the supplier and getting that organised to landing it in the warehouse and getting it listed. That's why some things don't always <laughs> come to pass when you, when you want something immediately. Yes, yes. And for those who don't know, this is Mr. Han, this is Ian Han. This is the CEO's father, and... Uh, General Gopher. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a logistical nightmare, a very, very complicated logistics process from, from the demand team who work out what you guys want to the suppliers who, and our products people who make sure that the suppliers are supplying what you guys want and, be, and the time it takes to get it from that point to the warehouse where you guys can purchase it is about three months. So it's not an easy task all around and, uh, and they, do a, um, they do a mighty good job in Hong Kong doing all of that when you consider that the language difficulties around the world mm -hmm. are complicated to another level. Yep, yep. And this is one of how many warehouses? Uh, we have um, uh, one in Australia, one in the UK, one in the Netherlands, a couple in America and one now in Russia. Wow. Plus wow. a few in China. Yeah. And that all has to come together to one warehouse in Shenzhen, and then it's distributed to all of the other warehouses. Okay. So it's, it's an unimaginably complicated process when you've got 35 or 40,000 product lines all being organized at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A logistical nightmare, a but logistical nightmare. you guys are sorting it pretty well. They're pretty good at it. They're pretty <laughs> good at it. Every now and then they get a few things wrong, and we just beg your patience when that happens. Thank you so much, sir. And you're back to work. What are you doing now? So he gets his hands dirty, this man. Look at this. I'm tying, I'm tying the light on for all of the stuff that we have to take back that we hired to run the show yesterday. <laughs> Which was a great show. You loved it? Yeah, loved it. Great. Loved it. Worth the trip. Worth the 36 hours. And the video was pretty good, too. Yeah. <laughs> Will, you're an intern, correct? Yeah, I know. I'm a um, 
a university student during the term time, but in the holidays I get to work here. Okay. And it is the dream job. It is. You fly yourself? I do, yeah. You do? What's your favorite flyer? Uh, what probably do you like? something that we haven't released yet. So <laughs> look out for Which it. one? Uh, the EFX Racer. Yeah, yeah, that's about everybody's dying for those. Yeah. They look <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> The other office, who do we have here? Danny? Hi, Danny. And what is your position here, Danny? Tell uh, everybody. Digital marketing, and I look after the UK promotions. Nice, and you help set up the show, right? I did with everyone, everyone else's help as well. Yeah. A little bit of stress, I think. A little bit of stress. <laughs> Just a little, and you said. There he is. I'm Ian, and I'm head of the RMA department here okay. in the UK, and we cover the whole of Europe. Nice. Yeah, and it's good to see you over. Oh, thank you so much. And there's hey. my man, <laughs> the beer drinker. Uh, yeah. I work with Ian RMA. Um, and like Ian said, we deal with all the European RMAs. Uh, and we love it. It's good fun. Nice. We work with a really cool bunch of guys. It is. That it is. It's really a tremendous place. Right. All right, guys. Let's go see the rest of the place. into the office here where we have three of our product specialists that you may have recognized because by now they've already seen the product uh, the caravan challenge these are our three pilots we have Gary the winner of the caravan challenge and a tremendous pilot he also pilots that big glider you may have seen on the ground at the uh, in the video for the show what you how long you take that up for and uh, the longest flight is 5 hours 29 minutes. Wow, without a pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've had regular, regular flights of over two hours and many one hour flights. So, yeah, it's great to fly. It's a lot of fun to fly. And he also owned a model shop for a long time, yes, correct? Yes, yes. Uh, what was it called? Uh, Galaxy Models for 37 years. Wow, wow. So, to have him part of the Hobby King team? I mean, you don't get that kind of knowledge overnight. That's yeah, pretty no, tremendous. We call, him, we call him the Ogre. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Dylan, Mr. Pink. Yeah, unfortunately. Second place, though. Second place. Should have been first. Should have been first. <laughs> but uh, these guys, and Pete over here. All right. I think you were last place, were you? Well, now? I was indeed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not so bad. No, it's only got to be. It was great, but these guys, man, I feel like when I walked in, only being here a week, that uh, I've been here forever. It was a real pleasure uh, meeting everybody, and I look forward to hopefully coming back out here again. Same with us. It was great, great meeting you, James. Thank, Thank you so much, so everybody. I look forward to next time you come over. I think, I think we should just tie him up so you can't go away. <laughs> <laughs> My wife would be a little mad about that. I hope she ties me up. Oh! <laughs> but guys, that's pretty much it for the uh, UK warehouse tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I certainly have, and see you again.